Welcome to Tutorials Point. Let's see what is the Mathematics Class 12th syllabus in this video. We'll be seeing the topics as well as the weightage of those topics. So let's start. We have namely 6 units in our syllabus. The name of the first unit is Relations and Functions. And Relations and Functions has two chapters under it. The first chapter as you can see is Relations and Functions. And the second chapter is Inverse Trigonometric Functions. And both these chapters are covered under the same first unit. This unit has overall weightage of 10 marks. As you know that CBSE has not made it very clear the breakup of individual chapters in a unit. We know that under first unit there are two chapters. But which chapter will come for more marks out of 10 we do not know that. So basically, we will have to prepare all the chapters under a particular unit. About unit 1 that is relation functions, I would like to tell that this chapter is usually covered initially only in the syllabus in a particular class. This chapter is very basic and it also has some concepts which you have studied in your class 11th. So before starting this chapter, better brush up your skills of class 11th. About the second unit that is algebra. There are again two chapters, matrices and determinants. And this unit has overall weightage, as you can see, of 13 marks. 13 marks are a huge number when considered for scoring good marks in mathematics. This is one of the easiest unit which everybody can do and everybody finds interesting. Matrices and determinants are related to each other in such a manner that you cover matrices first and then go with the determinants part. So basically these two chapters are a sure shot to do if you have to score more marks or full marks in your mathematics. The next unit that is under picture is calculus and it is a very big unit. It has namely five long chapters and these five chapters are basically considered as one of the toughest ones with respect to the whole maths syllabus. And that is why, because of its huge importance, it covers for 44 marks. For, for 44 marks, a huge number, almost the 50% of your paper is covered with it. It has 5 chapters. And before covering all these 5 chapters, I advise to cover limits chapter of class 11th first. So, it has continuity and differentiability. Then it has applications of derivatives. Basically, application of derivatives and application of integrals. These two are just usages of common chapters, continuity and differentiability and integrals respectively. So after covering all these four chapters, there would be the last one which is differential equations. Now about calculus, all the students basically find this very typical. But if you cover this as a whole, then it will be also beneficial if you opt for higher studies, engineering and all. This chapter is almost a bit related to your physics concepts. So if you know the differentiation of physics, you can master it well. Next, we come to the importance of the unit number 4, which is vectors and 3D. So vectors and 3D means vectors and three-dimensional geometry. It includes again two chapters. The first one is named as vectors and the second one is named as three-dimensional geometry. And both these chapters together constitute an important total of 17 marks. Now vectors and 3D is based on how you can imagine and analyze certain things. There are many formulas in this chapter and if you know the formulas and you have the ability and capability to analyze, to imagine and then understand things, you can get these 17 marks very easily. Next, we come on to the fifth unit, which is linear programming. Linear programming is a must do in class 12th. You cannot leave this chapter because it is again one of the easiest chapters, one of the easiest units as well after the study of the unit of algebra. So linear programming will have nearly, it already has been clear from the previous examination papers that only one question comes from this chapter and that to an important six marks directly a six mark question can come and you can get that six mark question if you practice 
the important topics of that chapter. So linear programming is a must do, one cannot leave this and one cannot afford to leave this. Last unit that is in the syllabus mentioned is probability, probability you have been studying from your junior classes as well. So in class plus 2 you will be studying probability in more detail. This is again very important if you have to opt for engineering. Also probability is again based on how you can interpret, analyze and understand things on your own. So probability is also there in the syllabus constitutes again 10 marks as was the unit 1. So after we have covered all these things, I just need to mention 2-3 things in particular again. That the easiest unit that you would find would be according to me algebra and linear programming. The most important one, although you find difficult, you have to cover it full is your calculus. And after you have covered all these three units, you can go for vector 3D relation functions and probability. So the syllabus, the brief introduction is done. Let's see what are the contents of the chapter 2 of unit 1. As we know, the unit 1 is named as relations and functions. And the chapter 2 of unit 1 is named as inverse trigonometric functions. Let's see what are the contents under inverse trigonometric functions. So the contents namely are the definition, the range, domain, principal value, branch and etc. Let's see it in more detail. So first of all, we would be having under inverse trigonometric functions as to what are inverse trigonometric functions in more detail. That means the definition. And since the name is inverse trigonometric functions, so you must know what are the various formulas that you studied in your junior classes regarding to trigonometry. And you must also know what is a function. Now range and domain is a very important topic. There are many questions which have been asked so far in the previous year examinations. And there still is expected in this year also a question on either range or domain or both. So this is important with respect to your two markers and four markers which have been introduced recently as in the two markers have been introduced recently in your CBSE examination pattern. The next topic would be principal value branch. Principal value branch again has many formulas into picture. And the interval that you have to consider is very important. Now graphs as such would not be asked in the examination. But with the help of graphs we will be able to solve some questions. And some formulas are again based on it. So even this is important. Next is elementary properties of inverse trigonometric functions. Now students find it very difficult because they don't pay attention to the word elementary. That means CBSE expects you just to have a notice of few basic properties and then practice questions related to those properties. So please make sure what is the syllabus and then only prepare accordingly. So this was the video based on chapter 2 of unit 1, the syllabus and its contents.